What? The now I'm wondering. How, I'm now I'm wondering how that thing popped up that said that you you subscribed. Oh, because you don't have that like a plug-in turned no, on. No, I do something. have it turned on, huh. but that's bizarre. Oh, here's the alert. Yeah. Huh. That's weird. <laughs> Well, cool. Okay. Well, anyway, uh, that's interesting to all you people who uh, have no idea what we're talking have about. Have no idea what we're talking about. So, uh, what do we got on today's show? We got lots to do. Don't lots we? to talk about. We got lots to talk about. Like, uh, hey, you finally made it. <clears throat> yeah, turned forty-two last Thursday, and uh, that's that's pretty much all I have to say about that. All right. It was very uneventful. <laughs> well, <laughs> once, once you get past twenty-one, who cares, right? Well. well the 40th birthday was like a big deal. We had a party. Same for you. Same for you. Yeah. 41. I don't know what I did, what we did last year, but it must. You probably shared like a thing of hummus. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This year. Geritol. Geritol. Th- this year it was like the kids. Got your ED drugs. The older kids were doing their thing with their, you know, because it's Valentine's Day. So they oh, went. Oh, right. Yeah. And did, uh, you know. Uh, Lexi's got her boyfriend. Caleb's got a girl that he's seeing, and they both oh, went and I did didn't things. Know that. Yeah. Oh, that's still going is this on. This podcast yeah, yeah. official? I guess so. Yeah. Oh, oh man. Uh, we haven't met her yet, though. Yeah, so is Caleb. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Caleb, okay with you sharing that? I don't know. I've, he hasn't told me otherwise. He's at the age. It can't be embarrassing, still, right? No, he's got to show that so. off. Look. Yeah. What I'm... Yeah. He was actually supposed to be here tonight, but he keeps blowing uh, us off. Why are you blowing us off, For Caleb? Lady, probably. So, <laughs> Man. Well, yeah, probably that's the root cause because he says he has to do some work oh. for his psychology class. Oh, is she in which the psychology he, class? No, which he should have done yesterday oh, while okay. he was with her. Right. So now he's probably, you know, it's probably due like tonight. You know what, though? We should bring him and her on the show. <laughs> oh, <laughs> play match game. Well. And we'll <laughs> interview him. <laughs> yeah. Match game. Ah, yeah. we'll we'll just interview him anyway. Yeah. We we got questions. <laughs> Caleb, if you're listening, you should call in. <laughs> yeah. So uh you you also was this for your birthday or just uh kind of just yeah. the thing to do? Kind of for my birthday, kind of for Valentine's Day. We both took the day off last Friday and went to visit a couple breweries. I asked a guy at work that knows like a lot about the local breweries in st louis and he recommended like five that we should go see so we which is a lot of breweries yeah five that you have never been to <laughs> yeah wow so we've we, been to a lot of breweries already I, they just keep coming they I just know. keep popping up boy I, okay we'll go into that discussion and there's that. some that have disappeared yeah yeah and that's I, that was my next comment but finish your well story. we we went to three the first one we started at was um called uh, uh twisted roots Never heard of that one. Which is, gosh, somebody told me it was Six Row, I believe. Oh. You remember that one? Yeah. And I think we had some stuff from Six Row at once upon a oh, time. Oh, I know we they have. Used, their building was right there by SLU. Yeah, it's right by SLU on, um, uh, what is that, Forest Park Avenue. Right so, across the street from, from the bar called the Library. R- library, yeah, yeah exactly. Um, so are they no longer Six Row, or is this like a... <laughs> no, Side six rows. I, either six rows moved, or there's no longer a six row. That's weird because a pizza place moved in that building. I thought Papo's Pizza. And then I think they must have moved out because they this place has only been open since I think the guy told me uh, approximately nine months. So huh. whatever whatever month that was that they opened. But um, <clears throat> yeah, six row closed about four years ago. Oh really? Yeah, it moved. It well, it closed, but they were still open as far as that right no they were <laughs> they closed, closed, closed but they're still open they closed closed no i thought they just they moved, moved or, or, or i don't think like so that. i thought they were done donezo huh interesting fact a buddy of mine designed that building in the interior of that building as an architect you know what there's so many beer like you said breweries and so, yeah this was 2015 yeah uh G- of june so i mean there, there's so many breweries that I know we like this arch nemesis. I know we've yeah. had that beer before. Yeah. I know we've had some from them. And didn't they have the ca- collaboration with uh, with KC? Wasn't that them? Uh, the red, the pig, O'Fallon. Yeah, I mean. O'Fallon was big oh, on that. Okay. Um, they but may any, have done one too, though. Twisted the Root. Reds. Um, they had really like u- cool names for their beers. Their beers were okay. I mean, I can't say anything bad about them, but then there wasn't anything that like really s- stood out to us. I wish more small breweries would offer flights. Yeah. 
Um, but they didn't they didn't offer any flights. Um, really? Yeah. Snout IPA. Yeah, you're right. Red Snout IPA with yep. six row. Casey. Now um, I wonder when Popo's closed. I don't know. I wonder if they moved in St. Louis or if they closed in St. Louis. So anyway, long story. Uh, <laughs> so it's the same like people same or building. is it just one? Oh, same, same, building. same building. Yeah. And the interesting thing about this building was that the guy, because there's a stained glass window of Falstaff there. Oh, really? And the guy says that he, this guy said that it was the original Falstaff brewery location. Wow. I don't know if that's true or not, but he claimed that he was he's a newer a building, a, wasn't it? Uh, not on the inside. I mean, it's probably gone through re, you know, been rehab. I know a friend of mine helped Six Row. He he designed the interior for Six Row. Hmm. But they had they had decent beers. Um, and then we went to um, this this other brewery called Rockwoods, or I think it's called Rockwood. I keep wanting to add an S to it, but I'm not sure. Um, Rockwell. It was Rockwell. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> So yeah, that, I thought that's what you told me. Oh, okay. Look it up. Uh, that brewery is awesome. I really? highly Where recommend it. Really? That's on Vanaventer. Okay. So kind of in the same sort of area. Yeah. What is that? Uh, west. Uh, they call that a... That's called something. It's not Dogtown, is it? No. Um, no, you, I thought bottle you said district. south of the Grove. Yeah, kind Isn't of bottle the Grove. No, 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 no. Not it's, bottle district. It's right out... Well, they it's might... south cons- of the Grove, right? Yeah, kinda. I they may consider that the Grove. I don't know. It, but we drove past that once, Greg, um, when it was under construction, mm-hmm. and it had. I don't remember where we were, but it has the sto- the shipping containers. Yeah. As part of its like um, design of the building, it's yeah, a huge building. Rockwell, you said. I think it's Rockwell. Yeah. Yeah, like the old uh, the 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 guy that's saying, "I'm always feel that <laughs> somebody's watching me." I, would not have na- made that connection. But that place was so cool. So modern on the inside. Just a completely different vibe than what we're used to with like the more So between 40 rustic. and 44. South of, okay. I highly recommend it. Botanical they, Heights neighborhood. They have, um, they have food there. Uh, they had Their beers were excellent. The guy told me that it is one of the brewers from Perennial really got together with a few other brewers and then he had like 11 um investors that all went in the, went in together to create this so it's a lot of local other in, so influence from other breweries it's about what two two three blocks off of manchester yep. or out whatever the hell that road is yeah manchester. manchester um not far from urban chestnut no not at all and there's a tapas bar a topless yeah, I, bar? I told you that when you were up there. there there's a we've been to a tapas bar. In <laughs> a the, topless bar? <laughs> yes, in the Grove called Sanctuaria that had. Yeah. It, it's expensive but outstanding food. Oh. <laughs> and, <laughs> and and atmosphere. <laughs> yeah, I great, but yeah great I whiskeys. I will definitely go back to Rockwell again. Rockwell, interesting. That place was cool. What was your favorite um, there? Would you say that your favorite was? We I had a couple IPAs there. Yeah. Um, which one of them t- turned out to be a little str- stronger, and that one kind of got me a little bit. ABV wise, yeah, it was like seven and a half percent. But Lori had a uh, a coffee stout that was excellent. Really, and then we we left there. I don't know if you guys have heard about this or not, but Urban Chestnut, right right next to Urban Chestnut, they've opened this new place called the Herb. Yeah. U R B Urban Research Brewer. Oh, I've heard of the research place. Yeah. We tried to go there because it said that they open. Um, during the day, but they they don't start the uh, because what you do there is they're they're testing new flavors of beers yeah. or maybe sort of some sort of offshoot of a current variance. beer a variance yeah. yeah yeah and then they have you rate them and and uh, you use like your phone or whatever and you can go through and answer questions and kind of just do your review interesting um, but unfortunately it's a neat idea it is but they didn't start serving until like four or five in the evening. We had uh, they had great pizza there, and this was on a Friday. <clears throat> yeah, it was Friday. But uh, it was super cool. Did Rockwell cool have uh, many uh, dark beers, stouts? Oh yeah, they had a they had a nice mix of everything Did they? there. Huh. Yeah. Interesting. What is they had doing? a they had a their their coffee stuff. Man, I wish I could pouring marbles out over there. What are you doing? What are you doing over there? We'll uh yeah we'll have to um, we'll have to all go up there together. 
It's an it's a well, neat we, place. So Jackson's taking part in the school musical. He's the uh, spotlight guy in the musical this mm-hmm. weekend at, at his school. So Saturday, we drop him off at like noon at school, and we don't pick him up till like 9 o'clock at oh, night. Oh, cool. So we're trying to figure out what to do Saturday. So maybe we'll yeah. go hit Rockwell. Yeah. Maybe we'll have uh, go to the tapas place for dinner. <laughs> and play that uh, song, you know, I always feel oh, that we go again. Oh, somebody's Jesus. watching me. Hey, can you hand me a paper towel, please? Sure. Um, so we were talking about this new phone that came out from uh, Samsung. Yeah. Samsung. Yeah. <clears throat> it's Is it called the Fold? Yeah. Galaxy Fold. Yeah, the Galaxy Fold. And this thing is freaking gig- Like, when it's folded, <laughs> folded, it, <laughs> it's... Uh, you know the size of it, I think it's a little thinner than a like uh, thinner the width width wise width wise girth, girth wise <laughs> as your average phone, but um, when you fold unfold it, th- this thing's huge. You know how big is it? <laughs> well, it was four four inches, four point six inches um, Di- in the. Closed folded. diagonal, which looks, yeah. if you look at the video, it seems very narrow. Yeah. yeah it, it seems it longer, well, obviously longer than it is wide, but it, the normal aspect, I don't know that it's a normal, what would that be, 16 by 9 ratio? It it seems it seems like a different ratio aspect to me. When it's unfolded? No, when it's folded. Oh, yeah. When it's unfolded, it almost seems square. That's what I yeah. was going to say. Yeah, yeah and that's very square. Really, the iPad has is more square than the yeah. 16 by, by 9. Sure. Yeah, I true. would agree with that. Uh, but so, what is it when it's unfolded? Like seven? It wasn't all that big. Uh, I mean, Se- yeah, it's seven. still it, <laughs> it's a good size. Come on, what are we talking <laughs> about again? <laughs> uh, it. I don't know. I don't know. It's the the thing is what what is say nine. I don't know. $1,900. Yeah. No, it's like 1980 or something. Yeah. It's like such an Stupid odd price. price. Two house payments almost. Like, <laughs> why not just do 1999 or 1899 <laughs> something like that? Yeah. But, man, that thing is expensive. Now, when are they releasing it? Is it coming April. out? April. April. Yeah. So the the regular S10 is coming out next month in March, right? The 10th, I think. So it's a month later. It'll be interesting to see how long... It takes before one of us sees that phone in the wild. I, I, I don't, don't think I ever will. I know. I, I, I agree. I bet I will. I, yeah. I, I bet. I bet. I bet by Christmas one of us will see it in phone? the wild. Yeah. Yeah. If, I, I thought that about the the uh, iPhone 10, but you know. We've well, seen hell, those. you're not paying that up front. A carrier is going to sure. let you finance that for 24 years or 24 <laughs> months. 24 years. 24 <laughs> months. That's still. That's, uh, that's what? Two hundred. Close to. A grand bucks. a month, right? No, it's not. Well, it's my not twenty four thousand. Oh, 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 I'm sorry. A hundred, a hundred, uh, close to a hundred dollars a month. Right. With the with it, with the cost of the phone plus the. But plan. people that are buying iPhones are paying twelve hundred dollars financed over I know. 20, 24 months. I know. It's not that far of a stretch for no. that gimmick of having a fold. I yeah. I guarantee you, before Christmas of 2019, one of us will have seen this phone in the wild. God, I just hope it's not one of my kids that owns it. Oh, I bet it will be. Oh, That'd be geez. great. We need to plant that seed with Caleb. <clears throat> no, gee. So he he's in debt right now with his iPhone that yeah, he got. Yeah, what's oh, your story he? about your So phone, my your two boy. younger boys are 15 and 13. And for the last, for a good while, so we have Republic Wireless, which I'm a frugal guy. I don't care about my service all that much. I want to try to get the best deal for, for my money. And plus, I'm pay- at one time, I was paying for five lines. Okay. So I had I had five and this is before Google Fi and everything. We've been on Republic for a while. But I had five lines that I was paying for. Oh, and that's expensive. I mean, right. that gets stupid expensive. So uh, you try to go with Sprint or AT&T sure. or whatever. Right. I mean, you're paying a couple hundred dollars a month. So this was the best deal that I could find. And they've complained about it. So early on, they didn't have any data. Now they have one gigabyte of data. That's not a lot. Which isn't a lot. And they're they're bad with it. I have one gigabyte of data. And I never run out of it. because but I'm, you're not I'm a Wi-Fi. social butterfly like your children. It, exactly. Yeah, didn't you so, take Facebook and everything off your phone? I've no, taken Facebook off my phone. Oh, good for you. Yeah. So, you know, I have a very love-hate relationship with phones in general, but my boys are, like, on theirs all the time. It, it's I mean, not it's, just your kids. I know, it, I It's know. that whole demographic of, like, 2 through <laughs> 25. Yeah, so two. watch out, Greg. That's, yeah, I know. that's why she, we're talking about this. She's already, we're, what, like, addicted to the phone. Yeah. 
And that, so, so that's an is that, that's such an interesting case study that I know why why does that well, happen? Because they see it, I would imagine. But but it. why? I mean, I know they see parent like they they probably see Greg and Molly on their phones. But why? I don't know. Is it the colors? Is it? I don't know. That don't is know. that is a very interesting case study to me. So so my boys have been like they'll make like little snide comments because they have the same phone that I do a Moto. I don't even know what it is, but it's a Moto something or another low end phone probably cost me $150. But, you know, if at one time I'm buying multiple phones, sure. I'm not going to spend $600 sure. for a phone. And, you know, they make comments because that doesn't have a whole lot of uh storage. Storage and everything yeah. else. So, now the the joke has been their friends make fun of them. Or the, How, what they're t- who gives a shit? Yeah. Yeah, Which, you can get all the same apps that your exactly, friends Exactly, but the, the, but then they say, "Well, my friend uh wanted to load up uh Snapchat." And we were just sitting there laughing at it because it just took forever. It just took forever to load. And I'm like, I don't care. Right. And and then uh, they they said uh, that their friends are now calling them that they have blackberries. Because oh, that's the, the joke is because Those blackberries kids are don't from even 10 years know ago. what blackberries are. I know. Are. I know. So I like the other day they, they were making comments about it. And Eli's always seeing these stupid commercials from like. T-Mobile and yeah. whoever else that says it's like twenty dollars a right. month, unlimited data, and it's it's bull- it is BS. It's yeah, you're before right. the BS fees and exactly. right, taxes, I'm like it's not legit. We pay like twenty dollars plus like a little bit of like our for four lines, it's like ninety three dollars. Holy a month. crap, that's cheap. I know. <laughs> One gigabyte of data each. That is that I never go over. Boy, that would be hard for me. <laughs> so they're always complaining, which I'm the one paying for it. And I'm like, so I lost it the other night. Pay for your own damn phone. Well, okay. So yeah. that's an interesting that's what, conversation. What so that's what job? Caleb did. So Caleb got a job. He's working now. He got on his own plan. L- let me ask you this. Mm-hmm. Did you, and maybe I shouldn't say this, did you offer to to reimburse him the amount that you're spending on his line no, now? Oh, okay. No, Never mind. I did not. <laughs> Never mind. That's a bad idea. I anyway. was I was actually angry at first that he signed up for that because I knew that put him in a two year right. commitment. No, you're right. Like I paid cash for my phone. If I want to leave Republic because the service is you crap or whatever, uh-huh. I can just walk away. Yep. He's gonna have to pay full price for his nine hundred dollar yeah. or whatever iPhone, and and he, so he's in debt to them for fifty or sixty dollars every month, which in my mind, isn't too like if it was me, that's not too bad. If it was just me, right? But if you're an 18 year old making nine dollars an hour, and you don't have really any other bills it's other all than that your priorities, insurance, man. I know, and that's what he tells me. He argues with me, Dad. This is what it is. That's what we do in this generation. And so anyway, my my younger kids, they finally struck a nerve, and I like Uh-oh. lost it on Uh-oh. them. I went. <laughs> they were making comments and joking, and I just was like, I lost it. I was like. Yell! I don't even know remember what I said. It was kind of like you know Red Ross from Friends reference. <laughs> I just lost it. And I don't even remember what I said. And like, and Lori stayed in the living room, and she 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 pretty much applauded me. Whenever I came <laughs> out. She's like, everything you said. Let's was go have true. sex. That was awesome. <laughs> no. She's like, everything you said. Yell was again. True. Yeah. And Do I'm it like, again. God, I was just so fed up with this. Put your like, foot down again. <laughs> this like um, mindset of like, just give me better. It's I, entitlement. I want a better phone. It yeah, is an entitlement. entitlement. I want a better. I want my friends all have unlimited data. My friends all have this. My friends. Yeah. Do you know how? Like, if we even had that in our pockets when we were a when we were their age, I couldn't imagine. No. No, but the argument was different when we were. It was Nintendo. It was a sure. It it, it was something else. And I had to buy all that myself. I know. So I'm like, if you that was part of it. I was like, if you want a better phone, you work your butt off and you buy it. Yeah. If you want more data, you work your butt off and you buy it. I'm not going to he's going to find you. that out now. You know, he he's going to find that out. He's he went out and signed this contract. Okay, he, yeah. He's got a bill now that if he doesn't work, that phone gets Oh turned, yeah. You know, oh, they're going to turn yeah. that phone off mm-hmm. and they'll say, "Oh yeah, you only Molly just uh it was a few months ago she re-upped her plan. She got a new she got the new iPhone and all that. But uh I think they told her a certain price, and then when she got her bill, it's more. I go, oh, well, yeah, that's right. because of these right. BS fee number one, BS fee number two, and so on. I'm, I'm like, I'm on Google Fi. I they charge the only thing they charge me is taxes, 
and it's like three dollars. Now, did Google Fi expand to iPhones recently? I think you can use them, but uh, I think it's it can only use either one, like T-Mobile or Sprint. Oh. It can't it can't swap back and forth. Okay. Well, Caleb jumped onto his grandma's plan oh. through like I think she might be on Sprint. I'm not positive or AT and T. But did I'm he just, steal her upgrade? No, I don't think so. But I'm just you know I'm like, do not. You know, do not let him get away with, you know, not, not paying, paying you yeah. or whatever. Not that Caleb would do that. No. But, but they got to learn. Right, right. So that's my... And, you know, part of that's being an adult. You know, yeah, part of yeah. that is growing up, being an adult. Right. You're going to learn some things the hard way, but that is... I mean, we didn't have that, you know, to your point earlier. We had the same how, things that my kids have. I, I got to... I got to... Uh, go ahead. <laughs> how how old were you when you got your first cell phone? Well, stupid story. My mom bought me one when I was about 19 years old, and it was in a bag. Oh, yeah, bag phone, sure. Yeah, and I had to pay like $20 a month for it. Mr. Michon? Or $15 a month. I was 24. I think I was a senior in high school. Really? I think so. Hmm. Yeah. So you were probably, we were probably about the same age. What did you have? You had like a flip phone or what? It would have, no, I remember a no, like a Nokia brick type mm. phone. The big dinner, 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 dinner. Oh. I was I was in this whole thing. I, I might have been at Jeff. I don't need a cell phone. <laughs> Remember me yeah, saying that? I was like, I was like, this is technology, and you were like trying to avoid it. Did you have a pager? No, I didn't have no, anything. You didn't have anything. And then yeah, then it clicked. Which, I got. I think it may have been the crazy chick I was with at the time too in my head. Hmm. And uh, <laughs> then because as soon as I uh, then you realize got you out get, of that re- relationship, I'm like. This would be awesome to have. Uh, you realize you, know. you could get dirty pictures from ladies. There's a part of me that like I would wish I didn't have to have a phone. This is great at popcorn, times. but it's kind of hot. Well, so yeah, okay. You, yeah. No, I agree. I absolutely and I, agree. I find myself getting addicted to it and going down. That's and why just, I, that you took all, you took Facebook off I, right Facebook now. Facebook is not on my phone. I can only get to Facebook really? on, on desktop I, or I, real machines now. I did that for a while, but then I have a couple of little. Well, one really b- business, the the woodworking business that business. people will contact me through that, and I was like, find you know I was yeah, finding myself going. You no, know, I get that. <laughs> so, and I the only know. reason I I'm able to do this now is we hired a PR person at work that now manages our Facebook pages. Oh, okay. I don't have to. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. So, I find that I like the whole weekend, like weekends. I'm not even on pay. It's like during the week. I think it's more out of boredom yeah. Yeah. that I go on. And and that's what they say. Like we have grown to any, any like pause or, mo- you know, a, yep. a moment of yep. whatever, just waiting or whatever. Right. Yep. Whoop, we open up our phones and we start scrolling through yeah. them. Yeah. And it's that serotonin uptake. It's that you, there, it's a pleasure chemical that is released when they, they've done studies. Yeah. yeah. That little it is a uh, pleasure. Dopamine hit, or that little dopamine not- or serotonin notification that someone likes something yeah. or someone yeah. commented. Mm-hmm. Or someone something. likes me. Yeah. By gosh, I do have friends. <laughs> yeah. No, I. Yeah, I've. Rem- I, and me, it's not. I don't know as much as a boredom thing with me as it is. I uh, literally an addiction. An addiction. Yeah. I seriously. Do, do you have the other uh, any other social media? Yeah, I still have Instagram. Yeah. I, it, but, okay, so my my rationale with faith, Facebook is I think twofold. One, yes, it's a huge time suck. Two, there is so much bullshit yeah. on Facebook now. Mm-hmm. I am tired of all I see are political posts one way or the other, anti, you know, I, I don't care what it's about. Fake news, fake memes, fake stories. It's all crap. Yeah. That's all I see. And and it's curated a sp- certain way and i wonder sure. i always wonder if you they tune in to the old man <laughs> crabby <laughs> well no this is like real <laughs> life stuff i mean <laughs> i think everybody i honestly think that everybody every human that's probably between the age of uh i don't know let's say 10 to 60 is dealing with this on some level yeah and you know it, i you know i look at facebook and i'm like why do I keep seeing this stuff, but I don't see the stuff that like I would? And I got you to the point. See? I got to the point where I don't even scroll through it. I just open it up and look for the notifications, and the notifications tell me like the well, bell you at know, the top. Okay, so interesting thing. 
with your your business page, yeah. If you have pa- Facebook pages, mm-hmm. you could use that instead of the yeah. Facebook you could just app. get oh, Facebook true. pages. Yeah, that's true. I didn't think about that. Yeah, kind of like the YouTube Studio. You know, uh-huh. right? Like that. Yeah, that's a good point. No, you might it, do that. It, Facebook's horrible. It, it it's really. I mean, originally it was a way I I reconnected with people I went to high school right. with, some people I went to college with. It was a great way to you know share stuff. But then when election campaigns figured out oh, you could geez. leverage Facebook to get votes, which, mm-hmm. I mean, that's a natural progression of the product. It hit, it, 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 the last three years, the last five years, and the last year and a half, two years specifically, and I'm not tying this to a candidate. I'm tying it to you people listening. Right. What do you mean you people? I've got friends that all they do is spew hate. Oh, God, I can't stand and, that. And I don't. I don't care who it's against, who right. it's for. It is hate. Yeah. Hate. Sharing this or reposting that it's or pure even their own hate. Opi- even their own opinion. And I don't ge- I don't want to I don't want to deal with it. I'm done. Yeah. I've blocked people from my feed oh, because of yeah, some of this I've stuff. Yeah, I've hidden people. And then I'll troll them too. I <laughs> I was bad for that for a while. <laughs> well, uh guys, uh, that was our little was rant. Good, good rant. Uh how do you like the popcorn? It's great. Very good. So I made, uh, this is my new little <laughs> recipe. You do this every week. <laughs> so I love fresh popcorn when you, not microwave popcorn. I love popcorn. That you make it. Yeah. So, it's great. But I had this Red Hot Riplet seasoning, oh. and I'm like, you know, I bet that'd be great on popcorn, but of course I want cheddar Red Hot oh, yeah. seasoning sure. and butter too. Uh-huh. Sure. So a little butter, white cheddar, Red Hot Riplet seasoning. You did a good job. You could I open, think you this, could open a restaurant, Greg. A, a, yeah. a popcorn, pop, restaurant. popcorn restaurant. <laughs> yeah. Well, there used to be a place in what was it called? Pop. Well, at Popropolis the, or something. At the mall, mall, they sell that. That's expensive too. But uh, I'd pay you fifty cents for this. Oh yeah. Well, this is my uh, new favorite little yeah, this treat. Is good. Yeah. Very good. Sna- everybody loves to hear us chew. Yep. Everyone loves it. Uh, what do we got? Any we, other rants, Josh? No, that's it. We we're oh, about. We can go to a steak and shake rant. Oh, I wasn't gonna go down that. Oh, well, let's get mind. to let's get to our snack because mm-hmm. we're about halfway through here. Okay. Oh, where's your? What? While the song is going, all of us are trying to <laughs> shoot. eat our popcorn, finish uh, our popcorn. It's so good. Ooh, it is good, man, but it's uh, spicy. It's, a, it's addicting. Spicy. Oh, oh geez, He's trying to give shit. us more. Oh, wow. Uh, there goes your mic. Mechanical failure. All right. So while you're repairing your mic, I guess I'll introduce our snack that Greg got us. Another snack. We've been snacking the whole time here. And oh, he had where was it? a list of it three different snacks that we could try this week. And there was a bag that uh, Greg brought out. He had fudge-covered Nutter Butters. He well, had, do we want to even say what we had? Oh, That'll be a well, secret for the next week. It'll be a well, secret. It's all about secrets. Because it's, I mean, I'm just going to reach into the bag and see what I get. Uh, white chocolate marshmallow M&Ms. That sounds good. It does sound good. Today, though, I reached into the bag, Greg's little magic bag of treats, and pulled out some almond butter Snickers. It sounds delicious. It does sound delicious. So we got three of them here. Well, other Josh. We is could still probably just because it feels like it's in two. Two. So, so you just want to open two of them or what? Well, I don't know. Unless don't you want to. <laughs> well, unless <laughs> yeah. you want a whole one. I mean, that's... why would I not? I know. All right. Let's see. Well, here. I don't know. I might. I might just stick with the popcorn, man. Well, there. See. And you know what? I saw a commercial. There's pro- there's some other butters like <laughs> butter butter. That, butter that butter, Snickers is making. Butter. There you go. Hey, those, those. Clean my palate here. You gotta clean that palate. Yeah. yeah so palate. Uh, almond butter. You guys uh, fans? I don't know. I think so. I like almonds. Yeah. I think I've had that for like a spread on toast. A schmear. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Well, that's good. Uh, so it's basically like Snickers without the nuts. I think I it has nuts. Does it have? <laughs> okay. The mm. I didn't. Oh, I guess there's there something isn't. nutty in there. 
I guess it's not circumcised. So, oh, uh, circumcised. Circumcised? You mean uh, castrated? Castrated. <laughs> well, that too. Well, it is a little round. Oh, oh my gosh. Uh, Tastes like a Snickers. Yeah, I don't yeah pretty see much. much different. Slightly different. Slightly different. Not as maybe not as rich as a regular. I mean, it's it's like your oh. average income. Could be. <laughs> so what is it uh, instead of the caramel? Could be that my tongue's on fire. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's kind of spicy. <laughs> um, no, it be it would be in place of the peanut butter, right? I mean, almond butter is a peanut butter replacement. Peanut butters and Snickers. Y- peanut butters right? and Snickers. Is it? I wasn't sure. They have, uh, but I know they got peanuts in it. Peanuts, nougat, caramel, chocolate. Snickers really satisfies. Hmm. <laughs> this popcorn really satisfies. Yeah, it does. Well, uh, it was just okay. So there you go, yeah. everyone. Yeah. Uh, if you're looking for a Snickers, I would probably stick with the regular. Yeah. <clears throat> and it's it's an Is odd there, like a calorie advantage or 200 calories health Holy advantage. <laughs> I have well, no it's a idea. smaller bar too than freshly a, ground almonds. Not the the Snickers with peanut peanut butter. It's the same as the Snickers with peanut butter bars. Oh, okay. So this had almonds in it. So you said Snickers has peanuts in it, yeah. right? Yeah. Right. This has almonds. Um, I like almonds. Well, al- almond, almond butter. butter sure. But, I mean, it says it's freshly got, ground almonds. So I wonder if well, those were the- Well, that's the almond butter. I know, but I wonder if those were the ch- the chunks <laughs> <laughs> instead of peanuts. Uh, speaking of peanut butter, did you see this Indiegogo project, the peanut butter pump? I did not. No. So- um, Sounds kind of dirty. If you want to yeah. look it up uh, while uh, anyone uh, your au- of our audio listeners, uh, look for the peanut butter pump on uh, Indiegogo. It's <laughs> basically a thing you stick on your jar of peanut butter. Oh. And it's got like a little <clears throat> nozzle, kind of like a soap Oh, it looks pump. like it's got a plunger in it, too, to get everything off the yeah, side. It, oh, that's brilliant. And you uh, like squeeze the... Instead of you know spreading it on your uh, cracker, oh, that looks like a Ron Popeil infomercial. Yeah, it, I, does. it really does. It's spreading it on the cracker and the cracker disintegrates. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Why isn't it in black and white? Because you know, yeah, but, uh, that is cool. It, but it looks like is that your peanut butter jar? Yeah. Or? Okay. Like I think a so. Jar, right. Hmm. Yeah, I think that's the average size. So it screws on. It, it would, reminds. <laughs> but it's so like. They're putting it on. I don't know why they're Whoever putting it on they, a hot dog. Yeah, that but, was weird. But the the thing that I saw that was interesting is you just like take like Ritz crackers and you're like yeah. squirt, 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 so yeah. and you have like them all spread out on a cracker really quickly without because every time if you want to put a tray of peanut butter crackers, you got to spread them and so I like that chef man. He's he's dressed to the. This nines. is they're, definitely oh, he dropped his phone in the thing. Did you see that? <laughs> This is definitely like a uh, it's very bad infomercial, yeah. but uh, it, yeah. No, it's I nice. would support that. We go through a lot of peanut butter in my house. So twenty five dollars. Oof. Uh, and I would do that. Your estimated delivery is in August. I would pay that. And then you have the dog lovers early special. It comes with two little treats. Those and you get, Kong treats or yeah. Whatever. What's the two different kind of tips there? So one's for spreading. Yeah, I know. One is stream nozzle for snacks and smoothies. And then you got your wide pump ah, for so s- like a ribbon nozzle so like for a, sandwiches. Yeah, oh. a bulk action versus a a very oh. uh fine see, finesse apl- uh, see him, application. See uh, him squirting that out on a cracker. <laughs> <laughs> so fast. Yeah, he's just got he on needs a one jar for of jelly Skippy. now too. Look, yeah. he had, it, it took him as long to do that jelly spread as it did the peanut butter he's on He's got three a squeezable pieces. jelly. Jar. Yeah, but still. Huh. Do they make that's squeezable great. peanut butter jars? I guess not. Why not? Yeah, that's all they need to do. Yeah. <laughs> is make a squeezable peanut butter jar. It's a million I mean couple million dollar idea, right? Would it there. flow though? Like probably not. To the bottom. Especially not with chunky. Yeah. <laughs> now you gotta <laughs> it's got that plunger that squishes it yeah, all. I to like the bottom. that. Yeah, that plunger's the that's the moneymaker. I right think there. I would buy that. Hmm. I can't believe I'm saying that. Something that you found that's just a total gimmick gag 
thing, but I would like to have yeah, that. I see you've already put you're putting in your I, information the, right the, now. The worst thing it. is whenever the peanut butter and we get the pretty big jars like Jeff from. But see, um, I don't know if that would fit Sam's? on the big jar. I thought it was the a big bulk jar. jar. It looked like the normal big jar, not the like bulk. No, jar. we get there's so at, at Sam's they have the Peter Pan, which is giant, like five pounds. That yeah. comes in like a can. Yeah, which that wouldn't work on. But the other one is the Jif, which is you get like yeah, two or two three. Pack. Yeah, okay. Which looked like it was about that size. And but getting your hand if the if it if the oh it's messy bottles low. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I don't like it messy. Yeah. Did so, you did you hear about the the new challenge that kids are doing the Runaway challenge or whatever. Oh yeah, I did. Forty-eight hour challenge. Yeah, forty-eight. That's hours. what it's called. It's idiots. Kids are dumb. And then I think we've already covered that. In did this we today? Yeah. Did we talk about the, the kids are dumb? Yeah. 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 Okay. We talked about so. That. So are they? Is the premise that they're just w- waiting to see if anybody misses them? Yeah. Or right. <clears throat> and they get points for if they're they're mentioned on social media and stuff like that. I oh would my beat god. Ass. I would. Beat, oh yeah. I would beat ass. Oh yeah. yeah. You need to beat ass <laughs> before it happens. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Put the fear of God. <laughs> oh man, what is going on? What are you doing? It broke again. Oh man. You're getting real crazy with that. Let well, they get a piece of wood and get that on there better. So the 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 takeaway here is if your kids are missing, wait 48 hours. Yeah. Check. Before you start doing. Yeah. That. <laughs> That's not funny. Yeah, that's not funny at all. <laughs> oh, you laughed hysterically. <laughs> Come on now. That's not funny. Oh, damn it. What is going all right. Um, so we Can did, I get uh, to the top five? Top five. Top Let's five. It. It's top five time. We have no song. Tonight's right, top like five. Cardi B there doing okay there. Tonight's top five is toys we had when we were kids. Uh-huh. Do you you don't have anything? Did he do create you? a list? Did you create a list? I Where's your list? In my head. Why in your I, head. I don't, you know, I don't even show you my list. I want to see your list. So who's going first? Uh, go ahead. Me? Yeah. Well, number five on my list isn't a specific toy, but it's a, a collection of toys that I had that I was really into that not a lot of kids had back in the day, which was the mask figures, see? and they were like the trucks and everything yeah. that like. Popped open and had a bunch of like cool on my stuff. list. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh cool. Love those. <clears throat> I would say the Nintendo. Oh, that's good. I didn't even think about that. <clears throat> yeah, I I wasn't thinking about that, but yeah, that probably was my the amount of best time friend. I wasted on the Nintendo. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> my best friend. I mean, favorite toy, or whatever. <laughs> that's <laughs> it's your number one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mask was actually, well, I put it as number four, but uh, Mobile Armored Strike Command, what What's that back? stood for. Mask. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Gotcha. I what just you? remember playing out in the in the dirt or with my friends and that with that. Uh, one that I had as number five was the Pogo Ball. Um, do you remember that? I remember playing the, like, no. in the summertime, playing with this yeah. dumb thing. Yeah. We'd have... Because Man. I had a basketball hoop in front of the house, we'd play on this thing and shoot hoops while mm-hmm. trying to jump. So it was basically, it looked, it was two oh. inflatable balls with a disc. Yes. In the middle. It almost do, looked yeah. like the planet Sa- yeah. Saturn. Saturn yeah. 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 And you jump on it. And yeah. You could jump. I don't know if you really jumped that much higher with it, but it felt like you did. I don't remember ever being good at it. I remember it being kind of. Dangerous, challenging, and uh, yeah, dangerous. But I remember they had contests in my uh, elementary school, like it, during recess. Oh yeah, and the teachers like supported it and everything. Really? And I just remember kids sitting there with like their hands in their pockets, just jumping on this thing for like it was. N- and I was just in awe, like oh I don't my remember gosh. it being called that. I, don't, I couldn't tell you what I thought it was called. Pogo but. ball is what they call it. <laughs> that's actually <laughs> that's, that's what they, they say. Call it. Yeah. Huh. I don't remember that. Um. My number four is Voltron. Yeah, I'd go Good with one. that. Yeah. I was like, God, I love it. And I had the one with the uh, – and I had to build it in pieces. I didn't get it all at one time. It was the one with the little figurines that went in the yeah. in the uh, lions. I thought that was so cool. Well, yeah, they had that car one, and they had the, they had the, the all, lion one. And the lion one was – there was like two versions. It was the all-metal one, and then yeah. it was like the plastic one that had the figurines that went yeah. inside of it, which I, I had. we had the plastic one. Uh, <clears throat> super soaker water guns. Yeah, that's a good oh, one. Oh yeah, we had that too. 
I remember, like, I mean, do you remember water guns before yeah, Super they Soaker? Were garbage. Horrible. They would trash. I I remember. Well, you'd have those crappy dollar store ones, which That's, you could yeah. still buy, but they had the. You could buy those battery operated ones that would. Um, oh yeah. Choo, choo, choo. And they're like shoots up to twenty five feet or something. <laughs> yeah. and they never shot further no. than five feet, maybe. They were awful. Then Super Soaker came out, and you're like, "Holy crap! This is amazing!" Didn't we talk about this? The guy worked for NASA or something. I think oh, we did talked, he? Vaguely yeah. remember that? I think we talked about this on the show at one did time. Did you hear what they're doing now? Super Soaker is releasing a well, series Nerf owns of- Super Soaker. Yeah, well, that's what I meant. Nerf is releasing a series of uh, Nerf guns and Super Soakers for Fortnite. Based on the Fortnite weapons, oh, that's kind of cool. We'll yeah, make a mint on that. Yeah, those. Yeah, those were a lot of fun. <coughs> Since I already said my number four was masked, uh, number three Transformers. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That uh, it was one of like pretty much mask Transformers. Same thing. Love the loved watching the the uh, cartoon and loved playing with the Transformers. Yep. it was. I don't know. Good times. Being a boy in the '80s, there was lots of, lots of toys like that aimed towards boys. Yeah, like when boys were boys. Well, well I mean, yeah, it really wasn't like, oh, everyone could play with this. It was like, this is a boy toy. <laughs> 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 well, and 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 I'm, I'm gonna go in the and commercials. They'd go and scare their little sisters with the yeah. robots or whatever. You know, I'm gonna go in a completely different direction with my number three. My but it's pony. a toy. It, I mean, it was a toy for me. Bible. No, a three wheeler. Oh, uh, I, yeah. I was given big one wheel? of those. Like, like a big, no, big wheel? No, like a motorized. Oh, oh death Honda, trap. Honda 125 Is death the one trap. You broke your. Uh, I remember. I you, never broke anything, but I damn near killed myself multiple times. I remember you got ran over or something. Those it were, ran over me. They had yeah. to stop selling them. I I was just. I got that thing when I was like uh, eight years old. Believe it or not. And I drove that thing in, like into my teens, and man, I was just I was an idiot. It's it's a wonder that I'm still here. And I never have gotten my kids anything motorized. And my youngest son, he's always wanted like a dirt bike or four wheeler. And I have been totally against them. Four wheelers are better than the three. Oh yeah, the three wheelers were death traps. My three wheeler didn't have rear brakes, so I used to oh, fly. Jesus. Yeah, I used to fly up and down oh. our gravel road. <laughs> At one point. I'm coming. I was following the kid in front of me who was on a little mini bike. Remember those yeah. little mini bikes back in the day? And we came around a curve, and all of a sudden there's a car coming right at me head on. I locked up my front brakes. Oh no! I flipped over the handlebars. The three wheeler flipped over me. It rolled on top of me and then went back up on its wheels as I was grinding oh, on the gravel road. Man. I was probably like, I don't know, 12 or 13 years old. I almost remember junior high or something. You had gotten in a bad accident on one. I got I hit by a car on my bike. <laughs> oh, okay. and I landed I on the, p- and then I land in a similar situation, same curve actually. And I landed uh, on the people's, uh, I'm actually, I'm stealing the thunder from my number two. So go, go ahead. ahead. Give you, well, okay. Yeah, go ahead. Well, my number two is my bike. I had a really cool uh, BMX bike. My, uh, it was a Diamondback. Oh yeah, freewheeled Viper. I remember the name of it. It was all chrome. That thing was cool. I remember whenever I like, I got it for Christmas. I stumbled across the receipt in my parents' room later on, and I saw that it was like two hundred eighty-four dollars is the number that I remember. And I just thought it was the coolest thing. I had that bike forever, but I did so much really bad crap on that bike. <laughs> it was a wonder that I was still alive or the bike was still in one piece. I mean, it lasted forever. I actually sold it for like hundred dollars, like a year or two ago. Really? Yeah, because they yeah. hold their value. It's yeah, crazy. they do. The guy was like, "This is all chrome. It's awesome." Huh? Yeah. It's probably like he had one when he was a kid. Exactly. Too. Yeah. Legos. Late. Le- you mean Lego bricks? Sure. <laughs> God. Uh, that's a good one. Yeah, that's a good one. The funny thing is, I didn't. I had a. I had generic Lego. I, I had like lock blocks or really? something. Yeah, no. my mom, I got a bucket full of those. They weren't. They they say they fit with Legos, but they really didn't fit that well. And um, they yeah, I just and it's fun. The when we <clears> got <throat> Lego, it was a box of just a bunch of bricks, 
go to town. It wasn't yeah, like, right. oh, oh yeah. this is Harry Potter. This is Star no, Wars. This no, is right. Spider Man. <laughs> Fifty dollars each. Yeah, or more. Yeah, yeah. So uh, that's a good one. My number two, Hot Wheels. Uh, mm-hmm. Played the crap out with those in the same same with my transport. Probably at the same time. Uh, just having your little yeah tracks and, and yeah outside inside. Yeah. That was, that was always cool when you could take your toys outside and play uh-huh. with them, whether you had a swing set or whatever it was. And I remember, do you remember they had they had a couple different, I remember crack-ups yeah. where you'd hit them on the side and they had little oh, damage. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Come. yeah. And they also had the, the oh, color racers, I think. Yeah, that sounds right. Where um, you put them in hot water or cold water and they'd change yeah. colors. But, huh. Yeah, those, those were lots of fun. That's fun. So my number one is uh, very specific and unique to one of yours. You said Transformers, but mine was Optimus Prime. Man, I still vividly remember like just wanting Optimus Prime oh, yeah. so much mm. that I was—I think I was like eight years old, seven or eight years old—and I would go to bed at night thinking about it. Like it was getting close <laughs> to Christmas, and I would talk about it every day. I wanted Optimus Prime. Optimus Prime is so cool. It's eighteen wheeler. It has this. It has that. I must. My so my parents back in the day they went to um, I think it was Pantera's Pizza was given away um, an Optimus Prime and somehow there was a drawing and they they bought me one but then they also won this drawing oh, wow. so on Christmas 1984 or whatever year that was when Optimus Prime came out I got two of them wow oh, they gave yeah. you both yep and then you went and saw the movie that year and saw the Optimus died and you're like no <laughs> <laughs> I, the build up to Spoilers. getting the toy. For for that particular toy, oh, it was more into the you know kind of like Ralphie with the BB gun. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It was I was more excited to get it than I was whenever I got it because then it was just like the thrill was over. Yeah, yeah. Matches and fireworks. Matches and fireworks. <laughs> Those aren't toys. They still aren't toys. They never were there toys. Was nothing better than the <laughs> month of June leading up to Fourth of July and fireworks. <laughs> Now the now I'll I'll tell you that fireworks are probably the cause of damage to most of my old toys. Oh sure. When I was yeah. a teenager, yeah. I decided. Okay, my number one. I said it before. He Man's my favorite toy yeah. of all time. Uh, that's why Castle Grayskull's here. And so Castle Grayskull was kind of my thing that I wanted that I was waiting for for Christmas, and I, I'm like, I want that. Uh, but. I remember blowing up quite a few of those figures, those and Transformers. And so a lot of those figures that probably are worth a lot of money now (sighs) have been blown up because of 13-year-old Greg going, I don't want this anymore, you know. But out of the three of us, I mean, I don't have any of my toys from whenever I was a kid. Oh, I still have them. I think my parents have some. They've told me they have Voltron. Really? Yeah. I'd like to see that. Can you bring it next time we? Play I don't with know. It? I, Let's I'll play with it. <laughs> don't okay. break it. Yeah. <laughs> Remember that episode of Seinfeld? Whenever that lady <laughs> got that the toy collection. <laughs> yeah. He gets her drunk so he can <laughs> play with it. Uh, so you finally saw a movie. Man, I saw a bunch of movies. I saw, I saw Infinity Wars. Yeah. Finally. And, and did did it live up to the <laughs> hype or? Did it was you, good. I enjoyed it. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. It only took it was, how many years? No, it came out last year, right? 2018. I thought it was like 2011. I think that came oh, out. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, it was good. We enjoyed it. We watched it as family. Um, it it uh, was only two and a half hours. Not, I thought Cry it was, at the end? For some reason, I thought it was three and a half hours. Uh, yeah, I got a lot of unanswered questions, and now things make sense where I saw like all these, and you guys probably were talking about Ant Man, where you're like, why are they disappearing? Yeah, yeah, exactly that, but also like who dies and who lives and yeah. all that sort of thing. Loki, like at the very beginning, I was like, what? Yeah, he died. Yep. And Peter Dinklage. Yeah, I remember you guys talking about that, and then seeing him, and I was like watching it, and I was like, Lori, that's the little the, the guy on Elf, the little guy on Elf. <laughs> In Game of Thrones, yeah. Um, so did you you watch Doctor? Strange did watch well? Doctor? Strange. What did you we think all of liked it? Okay. Did you really? Yeah, I gotta give that another chance because that's a tough movie for me to get through. I'll, I I'll admit we were like making dinner and then ate dinner while it was on, but I I thought it was 
pretty decent. It was because I love. I think he's in in Avengers. He's a great character. Even he's agreed. The, the agreed. He was part in Avengers too. Yeah. In the Infinity War, right? Yeah. It, and uh, he was in the Thor uh, movie too, Ragnarok. Oh, really? I don't yeah. remember that. He was at the beginning of that. Hmm. Um, but I don't know. Uh, I still have. I'll I'll have to watch that. So I tried watching it again. It was on TV not that long ago, and I watched it. And I I made it through it, but it's just I don't know. It was weird. Huh. Yeah, some of the some of the uh, the beginning is really good. Once mm-hmm. he gets the cape and that alternate reality dimension kind yeah. of thing, where he's fighting that guy, just is weird. I like the cape though. Yeah, no, I like the, the cape. The too. cape as a character. Yeah, was, no, was I agree. Funny. I agree. I don't know if you ever got that far into it, Greg. Where well, it's like, I could, I could see though on on the Infinity Wars, you could see that the cape has its own personality, right? Personality yeah. as but well. it, how it helps him out. Whenever he first discovers it, and then they're like, it, it jumps on his back pretty much, and then it's like guiding him and like uh, telling him to go different ways and stuff. It's kind of, huh, kind of clever. I I gotta check that out sometime. But uh, so yeah. uh, what? Bohemian Rhapsody. You, yeah. <laughs> I watched that too. So I'm, I'm always yeah. I'm like six months behind everything. You know I haven't watched that yet. Oh really? No, I, I thought that you did. Not yet. No. Because we talked about it, and you talked about how the scene at. The uh, I know I, the Live Aid scene, the is Live Aid, yeah. shot for shot. And if you get the Blu-ray, I heard they had they shot the entire Live Aid concert. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, that you can actually watch the whole thing. Huh? <laughs> Have you seen that? Yeah, yeah. You went to the theater. Yeah, we saw the theater. So we watched. So my my son Eli came in and watched it with us. And then afterwards, because I was telling Lori that I knew that I had actually watched that live uh, the Live Aid concert. We turned it on and watched it immediately after that. Uh-huh. And I was like pointing out everything. I'm like, that is like scene for scene yeah. identical. Like I said, like there's a Pepsi cup yeah. on his piano and you yeah, know, stuff beer, like that. Half drink beer. Yeah. Uh, cup. It's like they, they got it down to the, you know, yeah. minute detail. Um, I liked it a lot, but I feel like it was like kept a little happier than what it probably was I, in real life. I heard a lot of it isn't true. Like, really? The way they met and. And uh, things as just, a band, yeah. Mm-hmm. It mm-hmm. it's not all. It it's like all fabricate. It's not all real, really, huh? Which I kind of I'm like that kind of sucks that that's well, the way the, it is. One but. of the oh, what is his name? Um, one of the guys in the band is like the one of the producers or something. Yeah. Well, I don't mm-hmm. know. Hmm. It's 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 good though. I have been watching this uh, new show on uh, Netflix. Came out Friday. Uh, called Umbrella Academy, and it's so Netflix a while ago bought uh, Miller World, which is a comic book line, kind of like DC and Marvel. So basically, they have their own library of different characters, comics, and stuff like that. Uh, but one, I'm sure you've heard of Kick Ass. Yeah. yeah. Well, mm-hmm. that's the only one that wasn't included in this <laughs> because some other. Uh, movie studio owns kick ass mm. but uh that's the same company anyway umbrella academy it's like um it's kind of a it, it, it's a strange kind of x-men type like this um all of a sudden one day women wake up they're pregnant that day have their baby that day <laughs> okay and this rich old man adopts uh, seven of them, eight of them, eight of them, seven or eight. I I can't remember. Yeah, but uh, and it turns out they all have these weird superpowers and stuff like that. And he he trains them to you know to uh, prevent crime mm-hmm. and, and stuff. And they all have different superpowers, and they're called the Umbrella Academy. Huh. Hmm. But uh, it, it's pretty interesting. Um. The only one that you probably know in it is Ellen Page. Uh, she From was on Juno? Juno, yeah. So hmm. it, I, I, I enjoyed it. It's very different. So it's a series. It's a series. How I've many o- episodes? I've only wa- I don't know how many. I've only watched two episodes, but I, I'm enjoying it so far. There's one guy that can leap in time, and uh, he sees the end of the world, and he fin- and he leaps back, and he's like. We got to do, so, you know. Yeah. What uh, the world ends in eight days, basically. What service is that on? That's on Netflix. 
Oh, okay. Yeah. I'll have to look for that. So, man, <clears throat> we are getting to the end. Did you hear Samsung's not making yeah. any more Blu-ray players? Yeah. I've never even owned That's a Blu-ray player. That really? I, no. I, I owned uh, HD DVD before Blu-ray. Oh, I remember that. Because I banked on HD DVD. Yeah, you were wrong. Battle. Well, you, you thought that service. because porn. Was, yeah, you're like, porn <laughs> is setting up. And then they yeah. did both. And then, yeah. Yeah, you always go with the porn route. That's where <laughs> there's a ton of money, right? <laughs> but I, I, I also have never had a Blu-ray player because I, I think it came in a time when there's, I well, I was ripping DVDs. I was <laughs> taking my, <gasps> not you. I was taking the movies that Your I owned and, and ripping them to a, a server so I could watch them that way. And I did not see a point in having physical media anymore. And I think Samsung saw, saw that light as well. Yeah. Yeah. But, um, cause I think people are satisfied with the streaming. The, yeah. I th- oh yeah. I think it's got the, the only people that, resolution that you need, that people need. The only people, the only people that that's going to hurt are the people that can't get broadband internet. Yeah. And that's with once 5g comes around, I think yeah. it's going to be, Less and less, you know. Agree. So, yeah. uh, one last thing, Mario Maker 2. Oh, you're all excited about I am this. very excited. It's coming out <laughs> to the Switch. This summer, right? In June, yeah. And it has a lot of cool features, and I am very excited to play this game. The first one is a lot of fun, and this one should be even more fun. But uh, there you go. Uh, that is it for our show. We do this every Wednesday. We stream live on YouTube and Twitch. Then we'll post the video later on on Facebook. You can also subscribe on iTunes, Google Play, and all your podcast providers. Uh, also donate on our site, stuckinbetapodcast.com. It helps us buy snacks, beers, anything else to uh, run this show. So thank you, and we will see you next time.